Good afternoon. We've seen over the last 20 months that the government has been infringing on the rights of Victorians and I think that people, I believe that people have woken up to the idea that uh, they need to stand up for their rights in Victoria. And one of, one of the things that the Liberal Democrats has been able to do is we've been, the, we've been the party that's been able to prove that we always stand up for your rights. However, what we haven't seen is strong representation to stand up for rights in, in our federal parliament. And so for that reason, I'd like to announce today that um, my intention, along with my team, uh, to run for the Senate in the next federal election. Um, I'd like to introduce to you um, two uh, of our wonderful candidates who have been, I'm proud to stand with, who have been directly affected by the pandemic and have made the, the, the strong decision to stand up for their rights and to stand up for the rights of all Victorians. I can introduce you to Crystal Mitchell and Carolyn White. Crystal? Thanks, David. So, I chose to walk away from a career in policing because of I was concerned about the role that policing were, police were playing uh, in the COVID response um, by the Labor government. And I was concerned about the damage that was happening to the relationship to policing a health crisis uh, and that relationship degradation between police and community. So why a career in politics? Well. I've been of service to the community and it's the best job that I know how to do and I believe that that is the role of a politician. Now when we look at um, our federal leadership and I think like maybe a lot of people I waited for our federal leadership to step up while our state premiers were eroding democracy and stripping the citizens of their basic liberties and freedoms and it just didn't happen. So to my mind I couldn't trust Labor or Liberals with our basic fundamental human rights and it's those experiences that have led me here today uh, that's ignited a passion in me to want to see and drive change at a federal level. So now I choose to stand with the Liberal Democrats, with David and with Carolyn because I believe that the Liberal Democrats are the future of Australian politics. Their policies are freedom based and they're true liberal policies that will see Australia end its COVID alarmism and segregation and move to an Australia that is innovative, self-reliant and freedom thinking in all aspects of our future, including the economy, the environment and our education. So that's all I wanted to say and check out the Lib Dems website for the Freedom Manifesto uh, and vote Lib Dems. Thank you. Yeah, sure. And our other candidate, Carolyn White. Thanks, David. Firstly, um, I'm here because I stand with David and Crystal and the Liberal Democrats because I believe Australians deserve real leadership at a federal level. As a small business owner and as a mother, I have a great deal of empathy for individuals that have experienced the devastation that the repeated lockdowns, the inhumane restrictions and mandates, and now the segregation of not only adults but our children as well within our society, and the impacts that this everyday harassment is having on our day-to-day -day lives. Um, you know, Australia can't continue down this path. So I'm here because I want to make a difference. I want to see small businesses grow within local communities so that they have access to a thriving economy. I believe our children deserve more, the next generation, particularly from their education. Um, so I'm standing here today because I believe that the Liberal Democrats policies can offer all of these possibilities to our country. Um, I'm standing with the Liberal Democrats to ensure that our country makes better choices for its people. The Liberal Democrats are the only party that you can trust to always fight for freedom.